Just the fourth quarter in game two. You saw the stats we just put on your screen. 14 for 14 in a closeout game against the Pelicans. Oof. 3D, he's 36 years old. Uh -huh. How is it possible that he's playing arguably the best basketball of his career now? Uh, he took a page out of what, what Tom Brady's book. He's, he's vegan now, I think. He's eating better. He's taking better care of his body. So that's been one of the knocks the last couple of years. Every time Chris Paul's gotten close, he's had some type of freak injury to hold him back, right? Let's just keep the blessings going. He's doing all the right things to take care of his body. Last night, we tried to compare him and Luke where the ball is being in their hand in the fourth quarter. The reason he's the point guard because Booker's eating, Aiton's eating, you know, everyone else is eating throughout the game. So when the fourth quarter comes, Chris Paul goes, wait a minute, it's time for me to attack that person. It's time for me to attack this pick and roll. It's time for me to get into the paint. Let me get some long rebounds. The point guard's supposed to get. Hey, Luca, come guard me. You blocked my shot in game one. Come get the rest of this. That's why everyone's going crazy. Can Luca play defense? He showed us in game one. Remember when he's moving his feet? He blocked uh, Chris Paul's shot on the baseline. We remember that. That made Chris Paul mad. Chris Paul said, come do it again in game two. <laughs> he couldn't do it in the fourth quarter. He was cooking him, right? And that's why everyone's at home excited. At 36 years old, I think 37 next couple days, Chris Paul is proving why he's arguably the best point guard we've seen in a long time. You know, Matty Johnson's my favorite, but Chris Paul's in that conversation. By the time they tip off for game three, he'll be 37 years old. There you go. I like see? how you just did the like, sensei see, thing, like, hey, come here, come sensei in, come style. Come see me. <laughs> yeah, but Luka averaging 40, but also six turnovers a game. And like you said, game two exposed on defense. Is that the next level for Luka? Like, we know he can score, put up the assist, but to get the turnovers down and to be better on defense? If he's watching film, if he's paying attention to Jason Kidd, arguably one of the best point guards to ever do it, that's a great mentor to have as your coach. Look at how Jason Kidd, why we used to say he was the best point guard. He was the best at throwing the ball ahead, letting other people eat. That's where you take a page out of Chris Paul's book. Let everyone else eat. Let Dinwiddie eat. Uh, Brunson was eating when he was out. He proved everybody he can get 40, he can get 38. With you back, now he's sitting there watching. Let everyone else eat because in the fourth quarter, the ball's going to be in your hand like Chris Paul and you can still take over. Take a little piece here and there and now give us the effort on the defensive end like you showed us in game one and maybe you'll stop getting called out saying come 